We're here now. We can't let our um, small viewership down, which is growing. Yeah. Shout out to anyone who subscribed. If you haven't subscribed and hit the notification bell, we appreciate it. And it just gives us a little idea of if we're wasting our lives or not. Yeah. So there's that. We haven't figured out yet. 25 years on. I <laughs> don't know whether we're wasting. 25 for you now. No, 25. I'll tell you what, mate. Honestly, I'm sorry. I'm going to talk yeah, about yeah. this quick. When you hit 25, something happens. <laughs> like what? I don't know. Like I just really started evaluating things differently. Mm. And I d it was because, like, okay, I'm five years into 2020, yeah, and yeah. I'm five years from 30, and I was like, I where do I need to be? What am I behind on? What am I ahead on yeah. in terms of what I need? Do you know what? Do you um, know what I mean? Do you know what I thought? I was like, I'm. Like, when I hit 25, mm. <laughs> before that, I always felt like 21. Do you know yes. what I mean? I always felt 21. And then when, like, this year, so my birthday's obviously in February, yeah. I was like, Fucking not that far from thirty now. That's no that that's yeah, what happens. Yeah. And that, I didn't want to, because obviously my birthday is in October, so I hit that, and I didn't want to. I haven't mentioned it because yeah, I was like, yeah. I want to see if the effect mm. is the same with mm. everyone else. Mm. So I was like, I've been okay. feeling it for a while, like, but yeah. definitely. No, it's a real confirmation when you pass twenty four because you're like, okay, yeah. I'm in my mid twenties. I'm solidly yeah, yeah, in yeah. my mid twenties. I'm not in my early twenties. Yeah, yeah, I'm in my mid I fucking twenties. I said it to the other day. I was like, hmm, I always think of myself as like twenty one. Yeah, you do, I but like, I don't anymore. Honestly, oh, no, no, no. Since no, I had twenty five, I was like, like, I'm in my oh, mid twenties. Shit, like yeah. this is down. And then my grandma said, like, we went out for a meal, and my grandma was like. Yeah, when I was uh, 25, I had three kids. So yeah. like, I just had your dad. And I was like, oh, Jesus. How do you know what happened? Do you know what, do you know what sort of happened to me in terms of the confirmation? Like, we uh, we did that just, when we were talking about that, just, are we good? Yeah, 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 no, we're fine, uh, carry on. All right, okay. So when we were talking about that Justin Bieber stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I fucking said, Justin Bieber is fucking dressed like he's in ball of pink, he's almost 30. Yeah. And I was like, hold on, Justin Bieber's the same age as me. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> that's, so that was a little kidney shot that I counted around yeah, that time. That's um that's weird, because I always think of like um Post Malone as like uh, oh, yeah. being really about old. Equal. But he, <laughs> I really think of Post Malone as about equal. Yeah. No, I was thinking Post Malone is like uh, way older than No, uh, no, no. Post Malone is the same age. They're literally yeah. the same age. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's so Come on, period. fucking Come weird. On, period. Yeah. yeah, so there's that. So there's an existential. We've started nicely with an existential crisis. Yeah. Good energy levels, existential crisis. So it can only get one from I don't know that it must do something to other people, but it made me. Um, I don't know. Maybe it's a, like a, a little, a little insecurity, a little fear. But I was like pushing for a, for more stuff, like to get stuff done. Because Did I was, because I was like, rather than oh shit, I'm about thirty, I should call it quits now. I was like, I need to get stuff done. So I've done like fucking loads of work, like in the last, like since the start of the year. But it's been more like future proof. Well, well my, so so to go on from your point, mm. uh, yes, and I haven't mentioned any of this, but like. Since I've been 25, yeah. I always, I like to think I've always been a productive, but like my product productivity levels in terms of my like long-term planning stuff have gone through the fucking roof. Yeah. yeah and yeah, like, yeah. cause it's that fear of like, right, I've actually got five years. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hopefully I've yeah, yeah. not got five years. <laughs> yeah. But um, it's like that kick in the ass. I'm like, dude, I've got to get this shit together now yeah, yeah, I need yeah. this stuff now 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 now, now, now. Well, I, but it's like I bet you probably felt the same it was like I stopped being interested in like not working hard my friends my friends no my friends stopped being interested in me no working smart yeah like, like, massive, I, yeah, yeah. like stop working like yeah, you know yeah. like for us obviously do loads of editing yeah. I was like I'm just not interested nah, anymore like nah. it just went yeah, and yeah, I was yeah, like yeah. I'm yeah. not interested yeah, at yeah. all no, I like it. like just like business wise like literally this week, you can draw comparisons, I suppose. It's like this week since to hired a guy for the first time and we've gone and done like a whole Congrats. branding thing to rebrand like the whole business. Yeah. And it's like, and I was like, well, you were sitting on that, weren't you? I was sitting on them for no, a Not in like a bad way, but I yeah, mean yeah, like, no, like, you just were like, okay, let's fucking start pulling the trigger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. I didn't mean, but like even the hiring the guy wasn't yeah. going to do it anytime soon yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, just because uh, the way it turned out. But like, but it was just, I don't know, maybe it just hit a point and it was like... I don't know, like, I was... Changed my whole long look. I don't know. Yeah, we're getting a bit, um, we're getting a bit sentimental, aren't we? But oh well, we're already here now. Um, already here now. Yeah, like, I feel, I 
bad. It really, like, let's put it this way. My fucking mortality was really solidified. This year? Yeah. yeah. And <laughs> after, and it was also solidified when I was, like, ill last year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, like, kept coming into this year. It yeah. was like really solidified. Like it was solidifying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, okay, I'm on this earth for a period of time and I'm going to fucking die. Yeah. And like, I was aware of it as a notion. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. then like, when it really came to this year, I was like, okay, right, let's fucking, well, let's get to fucking work. Yeah, like, yeah I've got yeah. to do everything I need to do yeah. in this time frame. Like, I hope it's a long time frame, but I can't tell. I don't know what so it, is, like, it is with you as well, is that I always find a 30 is a cutoff point. Do you know what I mean? Like I, I feel like I feel like so so in terms of generationally and like culturally, I feel like Kurt for used to be a cut off point. Yeah, yeah. But because people actually I mean, let's be real here, people are growing up slower. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because they I mean like, you know, you, you older generations were forced. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because of their lifespan and like they have to get their shit together by this age, you know, they're yeah, sent yeah, off yeah. and the fuck they're getting drafted. Yeah, yeah. All this yeah. stuff's happening. But for us it's like we've had, like, regardless of how you like it or not, like we've had in terms of a, ge- in a generational sense, a softer, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, right, which has bred yeah. softer people. Yeah, like, yeah, let's yeah. let's be real here. Let's cut the shit. So, a few in, softies out there. Yeah, which is whatever. That's just what happens. You know, good good times. You know, yeah. breed soft people and hard times breed hard yeah, people. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. it's just what it is. So, um, yeah. So that cut off point or that generational perceived yeah, yeah. cut off point, I feel like it's been pushed back a bit. In terms of like, like shout out to anyone here who's like post where you know we're not talking about you and your life. We're just talking about the sort of like cultural. It feels contrast. like pressure or yeah, yeah. contrast uh, about age, like where we're at in our lives. Yeah. Uh, you might feel the same if you're the same age, but um, that's just how it feels. But I feel like that's been pushed back a bit. Yeah, well, I mean, like even well, statistically, the um, age of marriage now in the UK, the average age is thirty-two, whereas mm. like 25, 30 years ago, it was twenty-two. Yeah, do you yeah. know what I mean? Like that yeah. generational jump is yeah. just insane. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. But um, yeah, well, there's a morbid start to. Uh, I don't think it's morbid. Like I, I don't know, like I don't see now. No. Anything wrong with like. Just being aware and conscious of the fact you're here for a limited period of time. I mean, that's a healthy yeah, outlook. Yeah, yeah. No, and I to agree. actually sort of like address it and sort of plan your life around that. Yeah, yeah. Like, I mean, it sounds fucking morbid, but like um, my life is planning around to a part, and I think everyone is, like people's deaths. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Like you want to get things in place, you know, and you want to get your own life in place yeah. around, around this sort of premises. And I feel like that is a massive incentive for me. And I feel like, a lot of people, even they may not be consciously aware of that, yeah, but, yeah. It, but it is because you want everyone to hit their potential while they're on this earth, yeah, yeah. like the people around you and whatnot. And uh, yeah, I just feel like that's what, you, you know, that's what everyone needs to do really. Well, not needs to, but it's, it's your own preference. Well, some people don't, you know, and they- Yeah, you know, I know, I know, I know. They shoot themselves in the foot. But like, um, yeah, because I, like Annie was like, wow, you're, you're halfway to 50. And I was like, well, to be honest, like I only really count the last nine years of doing anything, and the fucking first three of those were a waste of time. I only really consider like the last four years of my yeah. life, five years of my life, as, yeah, yeah. as things. I'm not saying I don't count them in terms of like logistically. Nothing was going on until about yeah. four years ago. Yeah, but I had like, but I knew like this was a thing, and I hate to fucking wax lyrical about it, but like, um, when I was younger, I was like. I 100% know I can sort my shit out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm having such a good time pissing my life up the wall. Yeah, amazing. But when I get to like 19, 18, yeah. I'll be like, yeah, okay, I'll pull the trigger and put things into place. And, yeah. I, <laughs> and as soon as that came around, I was like, all right, okay, I've got to write off this yeah, part of my life yeah, now. I've yeah, got to yeah. start mucking about. Yeah, I probably had a similar thing at yeah. 18 and yeah, 21. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And then it was like, okay, 21 to 25, I've got to fucking do something. Yeah, 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 I get you. And then uh, when we hit 25, well, like, we should probably make a podcast. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> this is probably the right direction to go. Yeah, with, yeah, yeah. With, yeah. Yeah, yeah, with a podcast. Yeah. Not nervous about that at all. No. So I hope you enjoyed the skit. Actually, shout out. you enjoyed the skit. Went for a bit of a 2001. Oh, yeah, we did, yeah. Oh, We're going to do a part two out of that. Should have been.